Now, Ryan, today, I mean, you're a very successful man, but, you know, where did it all start for you? When I went to university, I st my aspiration was uh, to become a full-time drummer in a band, because I played in a band at school. Uh, but my dad didn't like the idea, so uh, to become an entrepreneur was never really part of my frame of reference at that time. Uh, it's only when I started my articles at what is now uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, that I started enjoying business. And uh, my exposure at Stell, which was called that stage uh, Distillers, uh, was an eye-opener about the opportunities that does exist. And uh, I think when I, I left Distillers for, for, for Bola, uh, I broadened my horizons to say, you know, one day I would love to build a substantial bank, uh, not only nationally, but internationally. Rian, and then at home, you know, who's, who's cooking at home? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you like eating? Um, I'm sure you like, you like, you know, good wine, but uh, do you cook at home at all? Of course I cook, yes. Uh, well, for four years I stayed on my own uh, year in Zalde, which was close to work. My family stayed in, in Bowenville, so I had to cook for myself. Uh, every day, uh, and I must say thanks to Woolies. <laughs> <Where it's laughs> I like to braai, uh, fish in particular, or seafood. I did a lot of diving, a lot of spear fishing, so you know, fresh uh, fish and and seafood is always high on on the menu. And then uh, I like meat as well. Um, I've got a small uh, sheep farm with Mikey's food time, so. You get oh, nice. good quality meat there. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoy cooking. I love my kids from time. It's really uh, nice to take the train there as well, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> um, Rian, and then your recipe for success, what would that be? You must be fit. <laughs> you must really be fit. And there's no guarantee for success. You can be the greatest artist in music or sculpturing or whatever the case may be but you can be a failure. Uh, in business, you can be the smartest guy out, uh, but not succeed. And I think a lot of it's to do with your fitness levels. Um, and fitness is a combination of your mental health, your physical health, and your approach. And then, obviously, clarity in terms of, you know, what you want to do. Uh, and there I've learned three fairly simple lessons. The one is you must be driven to uh, satisfy the need of your market. The second one is the importance of focus. Um, and as the world becomes more uh, competitive, focus just becomes more important. Don't do 10 things, just do one thing and do it a lot better. And the third one to me is critical, and especially critical as you become more successful is to remain humble. Rian, thank you very much. Um, it was really inspiring to talk to you and um I wish you all, all the success going forward and I'm looking forward to coming back here and tasting some more wine and great food. So thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.